A new program introduced this year into the Richland School District is American Sign Language. Both Hanford and Richland High Schools are offering ASL 1 this year for its students with more levels to come. According to Maria Lascaster, Hanford's new ASL teacher, there was an initial reaction from students who maybe weren't expecting their ASL teacher to be completely deaf. I wish I had a camera to see their faces on that first day and document that. <laughs> their faces were a bit shocked. They were a bit shocked and they felt a little awkward maybe. And as skills grow, so have the students' confidence in class. So, so far for the past month or so, you know, they're just more comfortable now with me that we've been here at school. They come up and chat with me. They feel comfortable emailing me. And really, they're just so motivated to learn. And this enthusiasm isn't just at Hanford, but in Stacy Bright's classroom at Richland High School as well. Honestly, they're all motivated. I've, it's a I sign, you sign, and their, their hands are up, they're ready to go, and it's, it's really phenomenal to see. For hearing people, it may be strange to walk into a classroom and this is what you see, and this is what you hear. Nothing. A silent classroom of students engaged and watching their teacher. These teachers are hoping their students come away from the class understanding deaf culture a little bit more, having deaf awareness, and cherishing the language. That way they can communicate effectively and see the world in a different way. You know, a lot of them are going to work, and they may have deaf people come through their, their line or at their restaurants, and they can build that structure and that connection between communication. There was a lot of interest from students in both schools for taking these ASL courses, and both instructors are hoping for more sign language teachers when they expand into ASL 2 and maybe even ASL 3. The goal is to break down the barrier of communication, for students to gain insight on a community they are only beginning to understand. There's so many things people think like we can't do, but the only thing we can't do is here. Mentally, physically, visually, we are so capable. We are so capable. And so we really want to expose that to people and show people, look what we can do. Look at all these deaf people in the world doing these great things. We can do these. And so it's good that we expose us to the hearing world and show them. According to Lascaster and Bright, they want to see their students continue on with ASL after they're out of high school and to keep signing. Later on today on AppleValleyNewsNow.com, we'll have resources on how to get started if you're interested in learning more about the deaf community.